Welcome to NAB Show 2024. The preeminent event for the entire media and broadcast industry. Right here in Las Vegas. So Mikhail, it's day two of NAB. How's the show going so far? It's been great. We have a nice first day. It's been very busy the first day. I think this morning it's been less busy, but it will pick up this afternoon and the show is, is great. It's very nice. Yes. Talk to me about NTP technology and where you're positioned in the marketplace. So NTP technology is historically does audio routers for broadcast. Uh, currently we are pushing very much a brand that is called DAD, Digital Audio Denmark, uh, which is uh, more focused on audio interfaces for music production, in particular immersive audio, Dolby Atmos productions, and also live music, live production scenarios, yes. Talk to me about what you're showcasing here this year at NAB. So we are showcasing the Thundercore product line, which is a suite of three products. And they are all Thunderbolt enabled audio interfaces directly to a PC or a Mac. Very low latency, high channel count, very, very stable audio interfaces with pristine sound quality and a pristine general flexibility and functionality. Uh, and they are kind of, in its basis, very universal, but they targeted different market segment depending on how they are configured. Can you tell us a little bit more about the market segments they're targeted to? Yeah, so one of the segments is immersive audio and obviously in post-production where there's uh, music being edited for film and nowadays we have luckily a very nice trend in Dolby Atmos for music. So we are an audio company, even though it's NAB with a lot of video, but we are very much audio DNA guys here. and. Um, and, and Atmos for Music is a new way and very, I mean, even not that new, it's very well adopted in doing immersive music to, to everybody that listens either on streaming or wherever you are. So we are a central part of our products of the infrastructure of those uh, productions and particularly also due to our OEM uh, relationship with Avid that is a very well-known uh, producer of software for music editing and we provide interfaces for those workflows as well. So, so the second thing is that we have music recording, which is more like studio work, music recording in, in the classical way. And then we are now focusing quite a lot on live music applications for real-time audio in, in venues. Tell us a little bit more about the trends that are unfolding in the industry right now and how you're meeting those demands. Well. The trends in our part of the industry is certainly a higher channel count. It's uh, as a focus on fidelity, particularly in for, into audio, because of the immersive setup where, in particular, uh, Apple have done quite a lot in pushing on, on Apple Music. So there's a focus on improved and increased sound quality and, and music fidelity, which is it, it's what we kind of stand for. So, uh, and we see that trend uh, and we also see a trend for networked kind of infrastructures. And that's also where we are with our Dante implementations and, and other implementations to come in the future. Uh, so we kind of combine the, the fidelity, flexibility of a, a pristine audio interface with, with, with infrastructures that works in, in yeah, today's venues. And on that note, what do you see happening for the future when it comes to NTP technology? The future will bring more network uh, formats. It will bring more f integration to to other systems, either other other manufacturer systems or other control systems. But 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 basically, the future for us is to stay in this pristine space of music production because there's obviously different targets where where you don't need that much of pristine and other where you really do it. So so we will be still in the uh, you can say the high end of the market. Fantastic. Yeah. Wishing you a really good show, Thank Miguel. You very much. Thanks for coming by. Have a nice show too. Thank you so yes, much. Bye.